Firstly, I would like to thank you all once again for rescuing me. And since you went to such great lengths on my behalf, I feel it is only right that I introduce myself and my situation properly. My name is Gloria. I am, or at least was, the Princess of Musa. It has long been the duty of those of my line to see that the four crystals are kept safe in order that the calamity known as the Knight's Nexus might be kept at bay. Unfortunately, the crystals were stolen, and three, those of fire, water, and earth, remain unrecovered. Various disturbances across the land would seem to suggest that the calamity grows closer with each passing day. You mean like the flooding people have been talking about? And the waves that sank my boat? Precisely. I believe it is only a matter of time before the Knight's Nexus is unleashed. And the only way to prevent this from happening is to restore the crystals to their rightful place. This being so, dear friends, might we importune upon you to aid us in their recovery? Sir Sloan, we cannot presume to expect the help of others in matters that it is Musa's duty to resolve. Though I apprehend thy reluctance full well, my lady, it is plain that if we are to fulfill our duty, we shall be in need of allies. Capable allies. Our recent travails could not have given clearer proof of that. And what allies could be more capable than those who can count among their number one blessed by the very crystals we seek? Even so, we cannot simply assume that they will be willing to become entangled in our affairs. I'd say we're pretty wrapped up in them already, wouldn't you? May we take this to mean that we can count upon thine aid? Well, it's not like there's any place else I need to be. And besides... Is what the matter, boy? Huh? Oh, no, it's nothing. <laughs> Sleep escapeth thee too, I see. Huh? Oh, hi there, Sir Sloan. I had hoped that I might have a chance to speak with thee. Morning. Good morning. And Selena deserted me? Pathetic cowards. Not only did they fail to secure the crystal, they did not even have the decency to come and tell me as much. <sighs> One simply cannot rely on mercenaries. The Horogradas went to great lengths to have me made Prime Minister. I dread to think what will become of me should I fail to keep my side of the bargain by bringing them the crystal. Oh... <sighs> Perhaps the time has come for more desperate measures. What's that?
Is this your ring, Truff? My turn. Let's get out of here. Regret this. Got the upper hand, guys. Very well. 
We must not grow complacent. Another foe vanished. Your tail ends here. We must not grow complacent. Guess it's my turn. I'm going all in! All right. Sorry, pal. Huh. Hardly worth the bother. Lady, I wonder if I might request that we make a minor detour. A detour? Oh, I see. It's near here, is it? Very well then, of course. We're all the way out in the mountains. What's here to see? This path leads to the final resting place of my beloved wife. I had hoped as we were passing that... I might pay her a brief visit. You don't mind, do you? Of course not. In fact, I'm sure we'd all like to come with you. If that's okay, I mean. I would be honored. Forgive me, beloved. I have been unable to visit as often as I would have wished, and I fear I shall not be visiting again soon. <sighs> Thank you, all of you. Wow, what a view. She asked that she be buried here. She was so very weak toward the end, barely able to walk, let alone ascend these hillsides. Her last wish was that she at least be permitted her final rest in such a place. Though I was a poor husband while she yet lived, ere absent on some quest or other, I was able to give her this at least. But enough of my self-indulgence. We must away to Savalon without...
Savalon lieth a little further up ahead. I don't suppose you would all be so good as to spare me a moment of your time. Prime Minister? What are you doing all the way out here? I have come for the wind crystal, your highness. Now, would you be so good as to give it to me? Surely not. I'm afraid so. I intend to give the crystal to Holograd, and in return, I shall be granted control of this entire kingdom. Holograd? But of course those wretched warmongers had a hand in this. And the two mercenaries? They assailed us at thy bidding? You could put it like that, yes. Naturally, I didn't expect them to be quite so useless. I suppose the old adage still stands. If one wants something done properly, one must do it oneself. <sighs> it's rather inconvenient, but never mind. An asterisk. Prime Minister, you too possess one. Soon all Halcyonia will answer to me and me alone. The Wind Crystal will be mine, no matter what the cost. <laughs> this will be a piece of cake. You will regret making an enemy of me. To arms. Yeah. Yeah. All right then. Ah. Is this the extent of your capabilities? How pathetic. Oh, I am a merciful man. I will spare you if you give me the crystal. You escape with your life. Allow me. We all have our weaknesses. So what's next, I wonder? They'll show the magic to steal you! <laughs> this kingdom, it is mine. People don't oh. choose asterisks. Mine. Asterisks choose people. Yield, Horton. Thou art bested. Ah, how could this happen? The asterisk was meant to render me invincible. An asterisk is only as strong or as weak as its possessor. And in thy case, Prime Minister, t'would seem thou wert not strong enough. <laughs> Stop! Don't come any closer! B -b -b please I, I know that I've done wrong. I, I, I shall gladly relinquish the wind crystal. Just, 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 just leave me be. Please. Pathetic. <laughs> you are of as little use as those idiot mercenaries you hired. Adam? I, 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 I mean, uh, Lord Commander, w w w what are you do doing here? And if anything more annoying, foolish, withering, useless worm. <sighs> now, give me the wind crystal. And what if we refuse? Then the second time of asking will be considerably less polite. But if you insist... Come, I will teach you how foolish it is to deny me. Easy peasy. All shall kneel before me. Here I go. <laughs> <laughs> 